what was it like the, the next few seasons when, like, you, know, you have this team that goes to the tight, to the championship, you guys are a perennial East, Eastern Conference power, and then all of a sudden Dwight says, no, nah, I, I want to leave. Like, I don't want to, you know, I want to get traded. What's that like? For, as a teammate who has grown with this dude, and you see y'all are winning, what was that like to see, you know, your star player being like, I don't, I don't want to be here, and then go back and forth with that? What was it really what? like? Yeah, what was it really like? <laughs> it was it was a split. It was a divided room, man. Like some guys on the team was like he needs to go because it was too much of a distraction. Some guys, or I should, I should say, the organization said that. And some people said basically like we need him, um, you know, to continue to grow the organization. Um, I was on the side of. I was in the middle, like, look, if that's what he wants to do, it's a business. He got to do what he got to do for his career. Um, I, I, you know, I, who am I to say with, with, you know, I'm not in the meetings with him and his people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just know what he brings to the court. Would I have loved him to stay? And, and yeah, absolutely. He would have made my life easier playing basketball um, and a lot of other people. But, like, it, it, it was it's, it's for him to make the decision, I mean, to, to feel – he didn't feel like he could do it in Orlando and wanted to do it somewhere else. And, um, you know, it was, it was a different, it was, it was different feeling knowing he wanted to leave, but still was around for sure. Um, but the reality of it, look, we're professionals. You, you still got to go play, still got to go do your job. Um, you give me four other guys on the court with me. I'm going to try to make, I'm going to try to help him win. Um, you know, like I said, he would have made things so much easier. I mean, Shit, he he, I make a mistake on defense. He blocking somebody's shot. You know what I'm saying? We ain't have we ain't have it as much to that. So, um, but we we still we still did our thing. We still played well. We still tried to, um, you know, I think we made the playoffs that one the one year when um when he sat out. He had I think he had back surgery and stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, we 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 still played well. We just didn't have enough. Yeah. How does it feel when you're a guy on a team, right? And you know, this is your you know, you guys were really close. Like, how is it when you when you hear that though? Like, I know that you you said that you were in the middle, but how does it feel when a guy after you guys have success says, "I can't win with y'all. I can't win with with this team as constructed." And your teammate and a player on that team, he's saying, "I can't win with." Does that feel slighted? What does that What does that feel like? Yeah, a lot, a lot of dudes. I mean, I, I'll be I'll be I'll be lying if I didn't I didn't feel like he he wasn't saying that the guys around him wasn't good enough at the time. Um, you know, I mean, maybe we weren't, I don't know. We, we never, we were never going to know, you know what I'm saying? But I, you know, a lot of guys felt like, you know, he was just saying like, we weren't good enough. Um, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why, that's why I think the room was like divided and, and how we felt whether if he should stay or, or leave. Did him going back and forth annoy you guys, like just make a decision. Cause remember he had the trade thing and then he signs the, 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 uh, I think that whatever the paper was to stay for the rest of the season yeah. and stuff like that. Did you, was there a point in time? How was that when that happened? Um, when he's like going back and forth where do you like make it, are you like make a decision Dwight or are you like, okay, no, he's I mean, back. I just, I mean, like I said, I was just hooping like, but okay. it, but it, it, it did take me for a loop, I guess when he signed the papers, because up until that point, we all kind of, you know, in the locker room, we felt like he was leaving. Um, it's funny. I think we were coming back from San Antonio. I was asleep. I was asleep. I woke up. Everybody was like, we're taking a team picture. I'm like, a team picture? Like, so I'm thinking like, all right, it's the last team picture. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody going to post the last team picture or something. And they seen you know, somebody's like, yeah, he's signing. He's staying for the rest of the year. And you can see, <laughs> you can see on the plane, like people, some people like, <sighs> and then some people like this, you know what I'm saying? That's how, that's how split it was. It was just, I mean, like, honestly, coaches, like people were like, because it, it did, I think, take a play a part in like, it, I guess, drain people to the it's point where they were like, just, yeah. just make a decision, you know, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever you're going to do, just make a decision. Um, like I said, I was always like, I'm, I stay even kill, like who we got playing today. All right, let's, let's go who, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, we're going to try to win. What was it like when you finally got traded for you that summer? When you got well, traded to the Lakers? What was, when did you, how'd you get the um, news? What, what happened? 
I think I, I think I was at SeaWorld with my daughter. We was at SeaWorld on a class trip. And uh, I think I was actually with Jay Will, White Chocolate, okay. if I'm about to say. Uh, our, our kids went to the same school and he's like, yeah, you know, somehow we found out and we kind of knew it was going to happen. We just didn't know where, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, you know, we just got to figure things out, you know, move on, figure things out. Uh, he's obviously a big piece to that puzzle. Um, and still to this day, they're trying to replace him. I mean, you can see that in that organization. I mean, just, um, you know, it, it kind of, in, in my eyes, it set them, it set, it set them back a little bit. Um, you know, you get a guy like that in the draft, you, you, you watch him grow and then, you know, he leaves. That's his, that's his decision. That's his business. Um, nobody can argue with that. Um, but if, I think if, if they would have had it their way in Orlando, I think he would have been there for his entire career. 